very pleasant morning to all i am anusha brte english i am here to present my topic on digraph and trigraph before we go to the topic i render my sincere thanks to our ceo of krishnagiri for taken an initiative to prepare a module on phonetics to cultivate english reading and writing skills easier among government sector students and teachers thank you sir let me go to the topic why english is needed because nowadays english is considered a visa of the world wherever you go it will give you comfort on acquiring new thing and we can say riding two person in a single zone before we start the session we'll start with the quote of virginia wolf language is oil upon lips yes on acquiring english it gives pleasure to both the speaker and the receiver hope you are all agree with me before we go to the topic don't be judgmental be curious what is digraph digraph is a combination of two letters that make single sound it can be made up of vowel or consonants consonant digraph now we'll see yes is a consonant letter h is also a consonant letter both the letter join together and gives a single sound sh for example sh we used to say no that is yes and h both the sound join together and gives a single sound sh like in the words shake that is shake sharp ship shark we have words like that and we have more expand more words with starting with the letter sh the letter sound not alone comes in the beginning it comes even in the middle and at end and one more sound c and k that is k that is even though c k in the sounds phonetics we can say that's not here this is s and k both the sound combine together and give s k that is clock block like that and these are all the consonant digraphs what is digraph in greek di means two graph means written two letters make one sound is called digraph how you can ask t is a single letter h is a single letter both the letters join together and produce a sound th you may ask question that does a digraph produced by only consonants good no it can be made up of either the combination of vowels or consonants you can also ask question that where does the digraph comes very good let me say where the digraph comes shall i digraph may come in the initial middle and end of words we have three types of digraphs and what are all they here vowel digraph consonant digraphs and split digraph let's see consonant digraph that already we have seen t is a single sound h is also another letter 
both the letter combine together and produce the sound th. P is a single letter and H is an one more single letter both join together and produce p. C is a consonant single letter k is a, that is K is a consonant single letter both produce k sound. Let us take sh diagram for an example. Yes is a consonant le letter. H is a one more consonant letter. Both the letter join together and produced sh sound. That is sh sound. Like in the word shake, sharp, ship, shark. Now we'll go to the vowel digraph. As you know, what's vowel? That's not but a and e. Both the sound together, sorry, both the letters combine together and gives a single sound a. That is i, gain, main, train, like that. Even a and i are two different letters. They combine together and gives only one sound that is single sound it's called as digraph. Now we'll see split digraph. What is split digraph? A is a letter, E is a letter, both the letter comes in the word make. Here make is a word, the digraph that is A sound and E sound doesn't come together but it is splitted and produce sound make. E and a uh, here in like o and e home let us see split diagraph in with example through sentences tate and bob ate cake and grapes at the lake i'll read it again tate and bob ate cake and grapes at the lake. In this sentence, the digraph splitted and produced sound. This is considered as split digraph. And we have, for example, some example words that is ch sound. Already we have come across C has joined together and give the sound ch, chair in the middle. Hatch, sorry, chair in the beginning, hatching in the middle, speech at the end, and chart in the beginning, inches in the middle, patch in the end, teas in the beginning, ketchup in the middle, and pitch in the end. We have plenty of letters like that, that we can do it in depth. Now we'll take sh sound, that is S and H, both the sounds, that sh. It's in the beginning sharp middle finished ending push and one more example shampoo in the middle in the beginning rushing in the middle mash at the end she in the beginning bushes in the middle and wash at the end we have many sh sound digraphs and then you can ask question what is the difference between digraph and diphthongs? Because it's both are same. Many of us are thinking that both are same. That is digraph and diphthongs are same. No, it's a wrong thing. It's entirely a wrong opinion that digraph is different and diphthongs is different. In Greek, graph means written. Tongs means sound. So digraph means it's a two letter combined whereas diphthongs is two sounds combined. Diphthongs deal with the sounds that vowel make and digraphs deal with both vowel and consonants. So in the digraph we can have consonant sound as well as vowel sound whereas in diphthongs we have combination of only two vowel sound and here it's letter that is written in dif uh, digraph whereas in diphthongs it's only purely sounds and we can have digraph and diphthongs 
diagraphs or diagram both are same consist of a power of two letters that is letters keep it in your minds only letters not sounds both the letters combine together and give only one sound that is sh and ch that is s and h already we have seen in the earlier that is s and h and we have seen many examples in the beginning middle and end that is sh both the letters combine together and give only one sound that is sh that is ship shark shake like that in diphthongs it entirely differs diphthongs are purely sounds that's it that is a a sound and e sound both are vowel sound and here we don't have any consonants eight aim like that there are two types of digraphs the most common type is known as heterogeneous that is hetero means you know that different and that is made up of two different letters a single sound like k click or sh shink already we have seen the earlier we we have seen all that are heterogeneous digraphs and then we also have one more digraphs called as homogeneous digraphs that of made up of only single letters as two sounds that is that is ss or ee like that at the end of the word we can have this kind of homogeneous digraphs that is single sound like that is s s made together and give only one sound called as homogeneous digraph that is bliss flush like that and consonant digraphs here we have some more examples of consonant digraph that is ck ph sh in the beginning and sh in the end ss at the end here we have ck at the end that is k sound p sound that is phone sh sharp sh fish like that s bliss or blessed like that we have some sounds so here we have homogeneous as well as heterogeneous digraphs and also we have the sound in the beginning and in the end v sound that is wh sound and wr sound at the beginning and we have initial and end of sounds that is ch chair cheese child in the beginning at the end sound lunch church pinch here we have in the beginning it is chair at the end it is pinch both the letters combine together and give only one sound let's keep it in your mind this is digraph right ph like phone pace praise and sh sound brush dish fish like that we have many digraphs and vowel digraphs are typically placed in the middle of the words whereas in the consonant digraph it can come in the beginning middle even at the end whereas vowel digraphs are typically formed at the middle of the letter that's not always the case as well as examine ea that is a digraph pairing that can come at the beginning of the word like each these are all some exceptions we have and the end of the word like plea but since they don't predominantly deal in initial and final sound we'll see some vowel digraphs are you clear with that in the vowel digraph we have only at the middle of the letter some letters some exceptions only at the beginning or else at the end and vowel digraph will have some example that is a sound a and i a gain main stain here all the words in gain it's placed at the middle even main it's placed at the middle and the stain it's placed at the middle not in the beginning or else at the end and a i a sound day play stay that is there ear e a ear beach read speak like that we have and then double e that is e e it's says a sound e feet peak 
sheet like that we have and then now we'll have a little break break is nothing but it's not a coffee break or a kit kat break it's a just recollection that is learning check what we learn already just we are going to recollect what we learn earlier shall we ask question to recollect ourselves yes how many letters make up of digraphs can give your answer yes i'll give on uh, options you can give your answers first one 1 2 3 and 4 what is the answer stew yes good that is di means two graph means written already we have seen that two letters combined together and gives digraph good now we can say either it is true or false digraph and blinds are same yes or the digraphs and blinds are same is it true or false false good because digraph is different and blinds are different digraphs is two letters blend gives one sound whereas blinds two letters and the individual letter gives sounds right good which of the following words contain digraph be clear which of the following words contain digraph here it's uh, the words are boat tiger cup which is the answer yes boat good now again we'll come to true or false digraph and di diphthongs are not same okay digraphs and diphthongs are not same or digraphs and diphthongs are same no it's true both are not same good very good now we have dealt with digraphs okay now we'll move to the worksheets like we can how you can ask question how we can give training to the children right we have to take a time to practice to children for that we can help with the english kit given by our government that is in the english kit we have many flip cards and then rotating disc with blends digraphs and then diphthongs so to differentiate the children we can utilize that wheels as well as that uh, word strips okay or else we can give some fill ups how we can give for example fetch you can give some objects Here, opposite to that you can give f i and leave two uh, fill ups two gaps make the students to fill up that after seeing the object the students will say c h right or sheep we can give for a s h sound sh sound we can give the object of sheep and we can leave the space make the children to write and while writing uh, be clear while writing make the children to say and write then only the students will be practiced with a clear sound that is sh either it is sh or ch or th, whatever the sound it may be okay you can give exercises like this or beginning letters you can give end letters you can give or easy way to make the children to practice the word and pronounce it properly you can best way is you can practice rhyme shall we sing a rhyme now yes good i wish i wish i wish i had a fish in my dish and there is no fish in my dish i wish i wish i wish i had a fish in my dish and there is no fish in my dish here we are making the children to practice the sound sh when they pronounce wish automatically the sound will come repetition words will make the children to into as a well less to practice is easily and the poems like a small letters or small uh, stanzas will make the children to understand easily or to acquire easily and the meantime they can enjoy themselves without knowing themselves they can practice the language good or else you can give some crossword puzzles 
like you know already what is the crossword puzzle you can give that crossword and make the children to circle the word starting with ch or end with ch or starting with sh or end with sh like that you can give it it these are all only for the practice of the children and will have the practice of ch one more rhyme will practice that is ch ch chop the chicken 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 to make cheese chicken soup to make cheese chicken soup you can say here we have the ch sound that is chop the chicken here in chop we have ch and then chicken we have ch when they repeat it it will be very easy here we have cheese everybody likes it isn't it yes especially kids like it that is cheese chop the chicken chop the chicken chop the chicken to make cheese chicken soup okay so for sh sound as a less ch sound we can make the children because you can ask to make the children to practice easily you can ask question why you have taken these two sounds because this is commonly used say it's commonly used mean it will be very easy to acquire the sounds because we already we know that the learning from simple to hard is easy whereas hard to simple is find to be difficult so that only have taken these two sounds right and now we have completed that digraph and we'll have a recollect again what is digraph it's nothing but two letters combined together and gives only one sound that is single sound is called digraph right now we'll go to the next one what is that that is try that is three what is three here is nothing but the same digraph here three letters combined together and gives a single sound right yes digraph is single sound that is represented by three letters example match here in match t c h t is a individual letter c is a individual letter and c is also a individual letter all the three letters combine together and gives only one sound that is ch what sound ch sound that's it example match batch fetch like that the three letters th at the end make only one sound right this is called trigraph okay now we clear with digraph and trigraph yes and what is the difference between digraph and digraph trigraphs again i'll recollect you what is digraph good digraph is nothing but single sound or a phoneme that represented by two letters good trigraph is a phoneme that consists of three letters that is that is two and this is three that's it good how many digraphs we have here also there in trigraphs also we have the same question how many digraphs we have two like that here how many trigraphs we have here also we have two trigraphs that is consonant digraph and vowel digraphs here also consonant and vowel that is consonants you know all already and vowel you have already known it is consonant digraph and one more question you can ask that is is consonant digraphs and consonant cluster or blends are same you can ask question the same like diphthongs and digraphs okay no is consonant digraph and consonant cluster or blends or same you can ask the same question as we already asked in the digraph no both are not same here digraph is a single sound made up of three letters the same thing and whereas blends produced individual sound though it has two letters right as we already known that in diphthongs here blends also the same here though it is have it has a two sounds but produced individually whereas trigraphs three letters produce the same only single sound here for example e a r e a 
though E is an individual letter, A is an individual letter and R is an individual letter. All the three individual letters combine together and gives ear and T C H ch, that is ch and will have some E A R ear dear fear near here E A R both the three both all the three letters trigraphs combine together and give, produce only one sound that is dear fear near here like that a i r fair tear like that o c k clock block slock like that match t c h match fetch catch we have many trigraphs like this and here we'll have an example with the consonant digraph that is t c h right here we have T is a consonant, C is a consonant and H is also a consonant. All the three letters, again I repeat, all the three letters combine together and produce only one sound that is single sound. Catch, fetch. Okay. And one more thing you can ask. The most common and the only true consonant trigraph in English, which is ch. Yes, it always appears at the end of the base word. So the trigraph, consonant trigraph T C H is the only common known consonant trigraph. It placed at the end of the word. Example already we have seen. Again we'll see batch catch hatch pitch except when we had suffix to words like these above there are only a few instances in which tts that ch, appears mid words that is at the middle of the word in some cases such as butcher ketchup and touch here at the butcher it's and then ketchup at the middle Touch at the middle. Good. Now we have seen, we have gone through the consonant digraph. We will see about vowel digraph. Already we know that what is vowel sound. That is all the three vowels combine together and produce single sound. That is E, A, U. U. E, A, U. Though it is a three letters, it produces single sound. That is U. For example, beauty here it is e a u though it is e a u it produce only ear sound beauty and beautiful beautified like that okay and this digraph especially that e a u that is vowel consonant sorry vowel digraph does not occur natively in english then where it comes from it comes from several french loan words and words adopted from French. So vowel consonants, sorry, vowel trigraph comes from French, right? Example, beauty, beautiful, beautify, like that. Now, we have some examples for uh, consonant trigraph, that is str, st struggle, strawberry, straight, stray, strip, stream, stroke, street, stroll, strain. So when I pronounce the words, so though it is str, it gives only one sound that when you, when I pronounce, when you can hear that single sound that is stray, strip, stroke, stream like that. You can ask questions that how we can make the students to practice these trigraphs. The same things as I told to digraphs. For digraphs I have given some poems or uh, exercises or phillips or object with a phillips or else crossword puzzles like that. We have given the worksheets. For trigraphs also we can practice the same thing. Trigraphs we can give some reading exercises. right? or else we can give some poems you we can write on our own or else you can get you can fetch from nets 
and we'll have a pass here. Here pass is, is nothing but uh, I have been keep on lecturing you right to give a pass now I'll ask some questions for your mind refreshment. This is not a riddle it's the question about what we learn about trigraph right are you ready yes we can ready with the answers now I am ready with the questions which of the following words contain a trigraph again I'll repeat which of the following words contain a trigraph my options are discharge dispatch discourteous displaying and what is the answer yes yes dispatch and second question say true or false consonant clusters is known as consonant trigraphs is it true or false again I'll repeat consonant clusters is also known as consonant trigraphs is it true or false yes false good and I'll move to the next question how many letters make up a trigraph I repeat the question how many letters make up a trigraph it is one it is two three and four what is the answer yes three good everyone acquire about digraph and trigraph are you clear with digraph and trigraph yes we are clear with digraph and trigraph now friends again I repeat you here we are cascading you how to acquire English in an easy way because these are all the some tips that is just we are scaffolding you not we are giving a whole thing keep in your mind just we are scaffolding you by giving some guidelines that's it to step up or fetch the language because today English is considered to be very important and teaching English is considered to be a very tough job so make your way easier we are cascading this as a scaffold that's it and I can conclude myself by saying this one it's not just about ideas it's just about making ideas happen do it thank you